And we're back. It's Tuesday, June the 25th, 1980X, and I am totally on time. How's it going, chat? Uh, back at it again. Why are you playing the same game, Choo Choo? Well, uh, because I, I do... It's not that I'm trying to finish it as quickly as possible, but I do want to um, make more progress on it. Also, I kind of like this game series, as you might have known. So uh, you're going to have to deal with it. But don't worry. Um, the real answer, though, is that there's a lot of collabs coming up, one of which is today, and the other, which is going to be on Sunday. So uh, that one is a charity collab. So that one, even though I'm not uh, directly doing a lot of prep, there's a lot of stuff um, that Sono Mikan, uh, my fellow teammate from Gata Universe, has worked very hard on. Um, as well as my other teammates uh, for the Bob Ross uh, Paint Along, which is something we do for that charity event, which is, yes, it is a VTuber Slammer Slam from Gamers Outreach. Uh, that'll be happening on the 30th. Uh, so because there's the prep with that and some other stuff that I've been working on, uh, you're going to be getting some easy stuff from me <laughs> and a lot of collabs. Uh, it's summer in the rock quarry. What can I talk about? Uh, I do have a few things, though. Very, very quickly. Uh, first order of business, you might have noticed, uh, over here, in the top, uh, the top right, top right of the screen, right here, this, this flashing text that I'm manually, uh, manipulating right here. I'm gonna leave it right there. What is this phone number? Well, this is a soft launch. See, I was going to record, uh, I am probably going to record like a little trailer, a little video explaining everything, uh, but I'm soft launching it here. I don't have, uh, the, uh, I don't have the chat command, uh, dialed in yet, so you can't pull that up. So it's, it's, uh, right now it's attached to the top of my screen. I'm going to explain what this is, um, and I'm going to need you guys to understand <laughs> there are some ground rules with this phone number, okay? All right, so this is a call-in number. This is a call-in number for the stream. That's right, chat. Uh, instead of yelling at me on the internet to, disc to check my Discord <laughs> messages, uh, if you want, uh, instead of you can leave a voice message at this phone number. That's going to be, let me just go ahead and pull that up with, uh, with my little robot eyes there. That phone number. <clears throat> Now, first of all, that is not, uh, let's see here, two, 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 phone number, it's 308-824-8248, that is 3088-CHOO-CHOO, got it? Real easy to remember, 308-824-8248, yeah, uh, so yeah, if you want to call into the show, call into the stream, uh, Hit up that phone number. You can leave a voice message. Uh, there are some very base ground rules. Uh, it is not a live uh, call, so uh, there's no good. There's not going to be anybody picking up that phone. Uh, you can't text it. It is not a toll free number. Uh, and um, I am going to be going through all those voice messages, whatever's left on there, to pre-screen them all uh, before I play them on stream and address them. Uh, when will I be doing this? Probably usually for maybe for like drawing streams or, or just chatting streams or, or maybe more lax, longer streams. I will be uh, running them. If there's a good chunk of them, I'll be running them at the end of the stream and uh, responding to them like you do. Just like, uh, you know, that uh, that hit new thing uh, that all the kids love these days. Public access television. So yeah, uh, just very, very simple. Just Call that number, leave a voice message, uh, be funny or else, um, and, and, uh, if there's, don't, don't, you know, everything's, just, just make sure that it's, uh, I wouldn't say, you know, decent, but reasonably appropriate, uh, for, for, you know, basic TO, my, my TOS standards, uh, so no fucking slurs or anything like that. Otherwise, you know, I am not just going, I'm not going to, I'm going to delete it. It's not going to be played on stream. I'm going to hear it anyway. So, uh, so just, just, uh, just, just don't be, don't, don't be a, don't be a fucking idiot. But yeah. Uh, if you do want to call into the show anytime, it's, it's there. Uh, I want to thank my good friends over on the moon 
for helping me set that up. Shoutouts to the research, uh, the Music Research Institute. Uh, one of the uh, one of the uh, lab coat boys over there. Once again, that's three zero eight eight two four eight two four eight. So uh, you can now leave voice messages uh, instead of you know emailing me. It takes too long because uh, you know um, we get a lot of we get a lot of solar storms around here. Speaking of, back at it again. And uh, where ah here we go. Let's uh let's get back to this. Where were we last time we left off? I think we had just survived Valentine's Day. Yeah, that uh, that seems about right. And I think. All right, I set it up so there wasn't like a date happened. I think. What is this? Spring break. Yeah, I'm pretty sure we set up a date, so... And then completed it. The thing is, I'm not sure if it was both of the brothers or just one of them. And that's, and that's like, important. Because I ha we have a system. Huh. What to do? What to do, what to do. Well. What, what is the situation right now? Okay, so Ruka, okay, they're, they're great. Everybody else should be fine. Oh, okay. We're solid, we're solid. So the next, the next date should be three person then. So uh, Ruka is starting to tilt away. Cool. All right, we figured that out. Nope, we got that. So Eek Sophia. Ah. Let me let me try to throw together an outfit. Okay. Was that the last one that I did? So in that case, let me just put together something that's like a girly outfit, maybe? We'll, uh, do that one, and then... Or actually... Hmm. Hmm. Big hmm. Hmm. There isn't really anything. Okay, that's that's regular natural. All right. I don't think I can throw together a girly outfit yet, so I'm just gonna do this, and then we're gonna throw on a hat. Oh, look at that! That works. Okay. So. I think what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna just knock out the stress completely and then just focus on the school week. So, health. Oh? Hello? Yes? Yeah. Yes. Oh. <laughs> huh. Hmm. I feel like this could be difficult. This surely will not bite me in the ass later. There will be no repercussions to this. All right. Hey! Omega Leonidas! How's it? How you doing? How you doing? Yeah, I don't know if I've worn this outfit previously either. Hmm. Let me let 
Let me see here. Knit cap. Black. You know what? I'm gonna try something different. Here. Going to do this. I'm going to... Oh, shit. I do this. I'm gonna... I'm gonna... I'm gonna... Be here. Nope. Nope. Was there an ultra vivid one? There was, right? Hmm. There's gotta be like one more thing. All right, that works. Hey, yeah, no worries. Feel free to lurk and take it, uh, take it easy. Play a bit of the old, uh, the other dating sim I see, Skyrim. Mm -hmm -hmm. Yeah, feel free to take a lurk. It's uh, this stream is gonna be fairly chill. Um, since there's gonna be like a two-in-one stream, uh, I'm gonna be streaming. Well, not on my channel, but I am gonna be going over to Thunder's channel at 6 p.m. So yeah, I'm gonna gonna go go until about then. So very very laid back stream today. All right, I'm just gonna hope that uh, this outfit hasn't been worn before. All right, let's get to it. This should be good. Oh shit, are we wearing the same outfit? Oh my god. I don't think that's ever happened in in in, a, in the run of this game. Oh no, it's not the same one. Never mind. Ah, okay, never mind. Furman was like, oh my god. We are going on the... Hmm. Is the night parade out? Nah. We'll, we'll just... We'll just play it simple. You. Well, let's go fast. Cool. We date to a Jozud. Oh yeah, I forgot to. So no tsura nara manzuk shita mitei da na. Forgot to put my uh, my monitoring screen. Sorry about that. もう、まだ時間あるか。イエス。おお、疲れました。初ゴーストエンドのウォーターアットビーチ。あ。ベイブリーズ。まあ、あ、言っても知らねえと思う。イヴンイフアイテルユーユーウォンゲットイト。アイ
uh, my other teammates at Gata Universe have posted about it too, so yeah, yeah. Oh yeah, and I also uh, soft launched my uh, my voice message system, so finally uh, you can call into the show uh, and leave a voice message at the uh, this phone number right here in the top right corner. Uh, hold on, let me let me do that that uh, the toony thing again. Yeah, right here. Yeah, um, I it's not a toll free number. I'm actually not sure if it's uh, if it's an international number <laughs> too. If you're if you're if you're not if you're dialing outside of, I think you might have to dial one first before uh, before dialing the rest of it. If you are not in 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 the same country as this phone number, but you can leave a funny voice message <laughs> if you want to. Uh, and when I get enough of them, I'll I'll uh, I'll play them on stream, and listen to them. Oh, it's 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 to call into the show if you want to leave a voice message. Oh yeah yeah no worries no I understand yeah. Uh, if you're international, I'm so sorry. Um, if you are in the continental United States, I think you might, you don't, you're, you don't, you're, you won't be charged. But everywhere else, I think, uh, that might be a little bit of a steep phone bill. But, uh, it's fine. You can, you can tweet at me, I guess, like all those kids are doing. But yeah, you can call into the show. Uh, you can leave a voice message, uh, over at Change Ender Base. Uh, and if I have enough of them, of them scrounged up uh, at the end of a stream, I'll just like go through them and and and, uh, and uh, you know respond back to them. Very much like you know what the what the what the cool kids like to do on uh, that public access television. Uh, again, though, it's no texting. Uh, there's no live person that'll pick up. It is a voice messaging machine. So uh, leave your voice messages there. Also, be chill. Like, you can you can say whatever the fuck. I'm gonna be screening them anyway, so... You know, don't, don't, uh, don't say slurs. Anyway. Moving on. Yeah. <laughs> 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 For walking me home. Lay you. Cool. I just hope that that doesn't throw off the balance of the uh of the relationship triangle that I have the perfectly balanced relationship triangle. But you know what? We're gonna we're gonna we're gonna go to that bridge. We'll uh, scale that bridge when we come to it or something like that. All right, so now we've switched over to the style that Luca likes, and uh, we're just gonna run a lot. Oh shit! I've hit my goal for fitness. Nice. So that means I need to focus on intelligence, arts, social, and style in order to get Luca ending. Okay. Meow. <laughs> All right. Oh, okay. Yeah, we're gonna need to 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 call Luca, Luca, right now. All right. All right. Okay. The picture didn't change, which is good. So, Iruka. Hey, Where do we take him? Uh, let's see here. Oh, he does like flower beer. Okay. Uh, about the 17th. How about? There is no flower viewing at the park. Fuck. Um. Uh. Wait, does he like the botanical garden? Do 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 you do you like the botanical garden? Or is it no? Ah Botanical Garden is fine. Hey Jason, death in the rye. 
Yeah. Okay. Mm. Okay, cool. That's awesome. Hey, Jason Dietenrai, how's it going? How's it going? Um, yeah. Oh, yeah. Also, today, tonight, today, tonight, uh, is a is a two for two stream. So I'm gonna be streaming Toki Miki Memorial Girl Side for the 3DS, uh, third story. Uh, until 6 p.m. 6 p.m. We are going to specifically raid into Thunderbird, and then I'm gonna go hop on Thunderbird stream for Lost Judgment. So I uh, hope you hope you love video games. How goes the secret relationship? Uh, it's uh, it's uh, it's it's I am I am I am juggling knives in the air right now. Uh, I'm I'm trying to balance like carefully balance the the two Sakurai brothers, uh, but both of them are also asking the main character out behind each other's backs and that is a little bit difficult because I was going to do that god damn it Hi, Mina, Oh god okay we're in the third year and this is where everything counts Oh, oh, みんな知ってます。こりゃ先生有名人だ。この<笑> よろしくな。大阪ちゃんワンパターン。おかげで忘れられない名前になっただろ。いつ、リーズ、グレイティーチャー、オニズカ。せ、残念間の協力。かん。ノーウォーズ、センセイ、アルヘルプユーウィズ
Yeah. Yeah, they're they're fucking stupid. Uh, we're gonna aim for... Let's see here. We can ask about others first, though. Uh, where's Ruka going? Ruka hasn't decided anything. Kimura-sensei recommended that he should aim for a first-rate university. Okay, well, that's... Yeah, we'll, we'll go on first-rate university. <laughs> well, I date Tokyo. But yeah, usually if you say you you're you're planning to go to a university, the teacher um will tell you like this is where you're at right now. So basically they're saying like your stats have to be this high in order to get first, second, third rate universities. Um so at this point, uh everything should be in like the the high hundreds um or the mid hundreds at this point or no, not mid, sorry, early hundreds in order to get to a first rate university. Uh, like early to mid hundreds um, anything lower than that and uh, you are going to have to that is a wake up call to start grinding as much as possible even if you're not going to get good dice rolls it is complex yeah and, and this is considered the girls side games are considered like quote easier than uh, the original Tokimeki uh, line games but there's a lot going on under the hood which is really cool because you know even though it is like stat raising and stuff like that the way the mechanics work in regards to, like, the events that happen, you can't really predict it. Uh, I have, like, a game FAQs guide from 2010, and it's not fully complete, um, for example, so. Alright, let's see what we got here. Oh, the alpacas! That's cute, but unfortunately, unfortunately... The dudes don't like- uh, the dudes we're going after don't care about alpacas, so, okay. Uh, I raised health, but it can raise Lish here. What I'm gonna do... let me see here. Okay, never mind. Never mind. We're good. So, I'm gonna... hmm. I'm gonna raise fitness one more time, and then we're gonna go switch over to style. Those guys aren't worth it. You can do better. Absolutely. Fujiyama-kun. Dude, what's up? Alright, cool. Yeah, because he has judo club. Alright, see ya. That's fine. Sure, please don't ask. Please don't ask to go out on the day that I asked. Fuck. Um, am I free? <laughs> am? I don't remember what... No, 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 I'm pretty sure I scheduled... It wasn't the same day, right? Okay. I didn't overwrite... Oh, thank god. For a minute I thought that it was going to be on the same day and I was like, no. Oh no. Oh no. Anyway. So I guess I'm gonna... Gonna just switch this out then. Wait, this is, this is an active sh Sure? Okay, alright. Uh... 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 Um, it's also active. Interesting. I should actually sell that. Oh, shit. Hey, Jason! Thank you so much for the subs, dude. Yeah. You now have some, uh, you now have some emotes. I, I, I was gonna say I don't have a Discord, lol, but I do. Uh, because, <laughs> because... Uh, it's the it's the Gata Universe Discord. Uh, it does not require a subscription to get in though, so you can be there anyway. Hey, sketch, yeah, a sweater in June. Yeah, no, I. You know the funny thing is that I had a, I always like I've had affiliate since my third month of streaming. It's now my third year streaming, and uh, I only just turned on the affiliate now because uh, back then I didn't need it, and uh, now it is very much appreciated. <laughs> so. Mm-hmm. But yeah, thank you so much for the sub, dude. Alright, so what I need to sell. I need to sell this, because, uh... 
Okay. Cool. So now, let's throw together, let's go throw together a vivid outfit. We're gonna do this, and then we're gonna do this, and then we're gonna do this, and then we're gonna do, uh... Fuck. Where's... Where's... Cool. That works. So now we've made something that's uh, ultra vivid. At this point, um, both of the Sakurai brothers, who uh, the main character is dating at the same time, we're trying to get a perfect balance of a triangle, love triangle here, so we can get the best ending for one of them. Was that a wizard hat? Yes. That is from um, Tokimeki Memorial Girls Side 2, I believe. Um, there's some items, like... So how this works is that uh, in the girls' side games, there's the fashion system, and basically it works like any RPG. It's your armor and uh, your weaponry, um, but it's dead in giving you boosts and stats like you know health, defense, etc. Um, they are all of the fashion pieces or all of the outfits are affiliated with a fashion type, and each of the guys uh, has a particular type of fashion that he likes. Um, so you would match that up. You can also mix and match pieces together. So like, for example, um, if you have uh, pieces that are high in the vivid and sexy stats, you can have... That's not that. No. Where is it? I put something together. Like... There's, you can you can just like create like a different like kind of specific ultra specific like style that the uh, dude likes. Aside from that, all of these fashion styles um, relate to a specific type of girl, like ga either Garu or street fashion subculture that was popular with girls in the early 2000s and 2010s. So that's something that's really cool. Um, for the uh, other accessories, though, like, they're nods to the characters in the uh, mainland Tokimeki Memorial series. So this this headband here is Shiori Fujisaki's headband from the original game. That's the girl on the box. That's THE girl of Tokimeki Memorial. Uh, this ribbon here is Manaka's ribbon from Tokimeki Memorial 2, I believe. And I think this one, the Ongari, I think this one is from, like... Either like one of the RPG mini games or um, uh, the fantasy spinoff one. Night was it? Um, uh, something night. I'm so sorry. Hey, hello, Mew, Mew Blood. But yeah, these these ones don't um, have any particular fashion stat. They just give boosts to whatever outfit that you have on. So. This is good enough. So right now, since Koichi Sakurai, who is the older brother of the Sakurai brothers, is that he's a yo-yogi rockabilly, so all of the other the style of clothes he likes are like vivid, so like Bosuzoku, like rockabilly sort of style. So yeah, it's really interesting. As somebody who likes uh, fashion and um, Japanese fashion subcultures, like these games really do their research. Uh, depending on which game you play, one, two, and three, you can pinpoint exactly like when when this was worn in the streets and and where. Uh, so yeah. All right. Um, I feel like I'm forgetting something. Oh well. Oh shit! I remember. I was gonna call. <laughs> I was gonna call me. <laughs> That's too late now. All right. We're, we're just gonna. We're just gonna let this rock. Mama. Matsugaine. <laughs> Oh yeah, there's also um, specific, uh, there's like on the internet there's a fashion column, so if you follow like the trend of the month or whatever, it also gives bonus like affection points uh, if you're on a date with a dude. Hey Christy, hello! We're dating anime boys. 
Cool. So the Sakurai brothers, unlike the other Prince characters who are usually like, you know, well the first the first Prince character of the um Girl Side series, um, Azuki K is is kind of like, you know, the stereotypical Bushonen pretty boy, like perfect prince type. Um, kind of sleepy and, and a bit of an airhead though. And then the girl side too, um, had uh sort of a Sundere like character, but was also very sort of prince likey. Um, and had like a little mermaid theme going on. Uh oh my god! Omega Leonidas, thank you so much for the sub. Holy shit. Bruh. Damn. Wow. Thank you for subscribing with Prime. <laughs> Fuck. Uh, it's, it's, it, enjoy, enjoy your, your, your phony, um, emotes. And, uh, and, and yeah. Oh yeah. Amped her. Um, but yeah, the, the, uh, the two princes of, of this game, the, uh, Sakurai brothers, uh, they're fucking bums. They, they, they do not pay rent. They are crouching in a, uh, old diner, um, and they are poor as shit. Uh, they live off of pancakes and whatever food they can scrounge. They work part-time jobs. And they are voiced by Tomokazu Sugita and, um, Ju- oh my god. Uh, I almost said Juichi Sakamoto. That is not correct. Um, Junichi, uh, Junichi, Junichi, nope, 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 uh, so, oh yeah, Junichi Suwabe, there we go, it was, uh, Victor from, uh, Yuri on Ice, and, um, uh, 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 oh my god, I'm starting to lose brain cells here, um, not Nakamura Yuichi, that is the best friend of Tomokozu Sugita. Oh my god, Tomokozu Sugita is Gintoki from Gintama, as well as Kiva the Third in Kamen Rider, and a meme lord everywhere on the internet. So, uh, yeah. Hell yeah, Ampter. But yeah, there's also a lot of, uh, Kamen Rider themes. That is actually a really fucking cool, uh, loft apartment, or loft bedroom that he has. Basically, they live, like, in upstairs uh, from the diner that they live in, an American diner. Is that fucking Buddy Holly? A Buddy Holly poster? Uh, such a wonderful room, it's pretty boyish. What a unique room. Yeah, yeah, it went so-so. Hora. Well, we 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 did tow Jozu that time. Okay. All right. So, uh, yeah, we're gonna have to see what that did because Koichi's been asking us out behind his brother's back, and I've been trying to just keep the whole thing balanced. Fun fact: people told me I look like Buddy Holly when I wear my glasses. Who are you? You look like Buddy Holly. O e o. Something something. That was Buddy Holly cover art. Yeah, yeah, I thought so. For sure, for sure. There's like a lot of interesting like little nods to things. Oh, and also since this is a Konami game series, um, if you go to the movie theater, not only will they have parodies of like, you know, actual movies like, um, you know, Fast and the Furious, uh, Godzilla, King Kong, blah, blah, blah. There'll also be, they'll just also just straight up like show Metal Gear and, and and Silent Hill as one of the films. Not in this game, in two, uh, that's an event that happens. There's a specific character who like breaks the fourth wall that you can date, who loves um, horror and specifically Silent Hill and um, Konami horror games. Uh, and it's funny because, like, you can just buy him a whole bunch of Konami merch and take him to the Silent Hill movie, and it's, it's, it's incredible. Uh, but he's, he's actually pretty difficult to, um, successfully woo. I, uh, I had a nightmare going after him on stream last time. Someday I'll get back to two. Uh, it is not gonna be that time, however. Okay, so... Alright, you can buy Yu-Gi-Oh cards. This game came out in 2010, I don't think Yu-Gi-Oh cards are purchasable or no Yu-Gi-Oh cards were for sale but like he's into that character is more into like like classic Konami video games 
So you can talk to him about Contra and shit. Yeah, 1999. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Unfortunately, no Yu-Gi-Oh uh, card pack opening with him. Alright. So... I think... Yeah, I can definitely... Alright, I'm gonna... We're gonna work on style. Raising the style stat. Because we're gonna need that. Cool. Perfect week. What? Right. Cool, cool, cool. Alright. This is this is where This is where I'm gonna need to see if like I need to to do some emergency like rapid fire dating and like hope and reloading and hoping that the, the game doesn't have it so where the dudes are just beating me to the punch every week. Cause uh because if you turn them down, you drop a lot. Tell me what to do. <gasps> okay, alright, that's no good. Alright, okay. Okay, okay. Well, okay, hold on. Actually, I need to check... Sorry, I need to check one more time. Mio, sorry, I had one more question. Just want to make sure that everybody else isn't in danger either. You gonna throw a bomb? No, 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 no. Okay. Alright, so we're gonna have to work on Ruka. Alright. Alright, we're gonna we're gonna have to really ace this date, so I might have to save scum around this time. <clears throat> Alright. Alright, time to turn this around. We can do it. <laughs> Two times this guy, absolutely. This is Tomokazu Sugita, by the way. It's the voice of Gintoki here, pitching up. Well, I mean, he was kind of young when he did this role, but still, it's kind of funny. Mm. He, uh, he does like a. He, he was uh, playing Kibat the Third around this time. So he's sneaking in as many Kamen Rider in jokes as possible. Cool. That's plants. Alright, here comes the save scum. Uh, let's visit the tropical rainforest corner, let's visit the insect corner, let's visit the fruit corner. Fruit? Do you, do you like fruit? Are you a fruit? Cool, we did it. We're good. Girl, what is this line? What is this line? Cool. We're totally Dato Jozoing. Yo, Penny, for your thoughts, Ruka. Uh, no school. Mm, well, yeah, obviously. <laughs> mm. Yeah, that's true. Challenge なんか蓋を見たいだから染めた。センス。まさか今の髪が黒かっただけ。俺の髪染めて帰ったらあのダサいリーゼントになってた。俺もイメチェンだって。すぐ真似っこするんだ、あいつ。And of course, uh in the, in the themes of this game with the uh the two brothers that you can date at the same time, they they have attachment issues. It's great. Love it. <laughs> Cool. 
Well, that went okay. Uh, what's coming up next? So I guess on the 24th or the 29th, I can check. Peach's birthday, flea market. And then the school festival is coming up. The sports festival is coming up soon. Oh, okay. That doesn't really have any bearing on anything. But yeah, I'm just gonna focus on raising stats. Are they runaways or something? Uh, okay, yeah, so they're they're originally from Hokkaido, and the all of the games of the Tokimeki Memorial series take place in, like, an island city that doesn't really exist. Um, it's not in Tokyo, I, and it's not, like, in Kyushu or, the like, the south or anything like that. I... I'm not sure if it's it, it's it's like somewhere like in a in a coastal slash island city that that doesn't exist. That's like kind of in the suburbs, kind of in the countryside. Um, but yeah, it's uh, they the 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 brothers used to to sort of like live there as kids with the main character, and then um, they like they all had to move back. East Kanto, yeah, kind of. I think so, yeah, probably. Um, but uh, when the main character enrolls into high school with them, um, the the brothers uh, had moved. Out. Like, yeah, they they had they had gone to middle school in a different city, like the neighboring city, um, and then they transferred out. Uh, <clears throat> like they transferred out. Um, so that they could go to uh, Habataki High School, which is the uh, the girls' side high school, um, like the the main the, the the school that the main character goes to. Uh, Koichi is the older brother, and I think he actually repeated a grade, so that's why he's in the same. He got held back for fighting and uh, being a delinquent. So, um, and also he kind of held himself back on purpose because he's extremely overprotective of uh, Ruka, who's the younger brother. Um, so, yeah, so now they're both in the same grade. Um, but, uh, with, through their talks with them and hanging out with them, you learn that, um, their, yeah, their family is, is in Hokkaido and, and is actually kind of successful, but they, uh, Ruka did not enjoy living with his family and Koichi, uh, kind of, demanded or insisted that they move out and has rejected all financial support uh, from their family. Um, so they're basically uh, living on their own, supporting themselves as best as they can at their young age. Um, and it's also kind of implied that Ruka isn't Koichi's uh, actual brother by blood. So there's something going on there. Yeah, yeah, there's a lot of like crazy like layers to all of the characters in this game and in the girl side games three i think has the most writing so um you will only get you won't be able to see all of it in a single playthrough or even if you continue playing like if you, you have to like play through the game multiple times and you're not going to be able to see everything too depending on like what actions happen how the dice roll so on and so forth after each playthrough, um, when you go to the title screen, depending on what you've seen, um, the there will be chapters uh, that unlock. So there's um, each uh, of the male characters gets a visual novel entirely to themselves, um, like an actual visual novel, like it's a, like visual sound novel where you like read through. And it's the story of Girl Side, like Tokimeki Memorial Girl Side, this game through their perspective and how they view the main character, how they see um, them as a person and their motivations and stuff um, and their thought process and even like what happens before the game. So like, it's it's really interesting to go back there and just kind of like read through it. Yeah, it is very cool. Hey, MF Kuwaiti Gundam. Um, and it's like fully voiced and there's sounds and everything like, like music and everything too. So it's pretty, dang cool um and and it just kind of like goes to to not just like flesh out the background of the male characters but the player character too the player character in girl side and tokimeki memorial in general has you know always been like a 
a self-insert, but not completely. What I think, and this is like me preaching to the choir, what I think a lot of people don't kind of get about dating sims, even those that are like 100% self-insert fantasy, that there's still like the main character, the player character still has like a character and a personality that doesn't com that isn't completely molded by everyone around like who they're they're trying to like go for or date um but it's more or reflect like you know that person 100% um but it's still true to the fact that like people will only show certain parts of themselves to other people or only act like a certain way like for example um uh Fujiyama is the judo dude if you uh, pursue him specifically you're only gonna see his good sides and like your image of him is gonna be this hard-working kind of like dumb himbo -y, like very also kind of traditional um, judo like like martial artist hard worker which is true um, but if you're not dating him and you just kind of run into him, to him and talk to them um, like casually you can see that he's actually kind of very smart and cunning and calculated with how he like acts towards people and it's not in like a um not in like a manipulative way but it's very much like since he's very intent on being an athlete and thus succeeding at his judo club and having like that leader mentality then he's very good at being able to like read people's like psychology and sort of like not really manipulate them into doing things but kind of like work around them or like sort of like encourage them to to like do something you know what i mean it's really it's really neat so like your like your perspective of fujiyama is like oh you're kind of like like the main character will be like oh you're kind of like actually like sneaky or devious or kind of evil whereas if you like work with the judo club you're never going to see any of that so yeah, <laughs> I love this fucking game. <laughs> Alright. What was I doing? Uh, right. I was, I was reading a lot of books. I should probably change the outfit too, because you can't wear the same thing twice. Uh, ba 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 Is there something that is more natural? Hmm. That'll work. And you know what's crazy is like I've played this game so many times and there's a character that I have not fucking seen. There's a main dude like if you like play this game um, with with the girl side games and with like Tokimeki Memorial in general. Generally you don't want to have like too many uh, dateable characters on the board because that can bring up problems later in balancing everyone's emotions and, and uh, feelings and shit. But you'll still like see them or maybe run into them from time to time. There's in Girl Side 3, if you don't if you don't go near, like, the band room, you're not gonna see one of the main dudes on the box. Like, <laughs> the E has not shown up in any single playthrough I've done, because I have just not hung out with him or, like, the, uh, the, the, the school president character, who at this point has graduated from high school, so he's essentially locked out of the game at this point. It is crazy shit. And he's not even a hidden character, that's a main dude! Okay. This is the uh, the lucky item still a hat. Okay, cool. All right. What? Cool. Two. Fuck! What is it? Uh. Oh. Mm. <laughs> Shit. I might have to reset, guys. I think I'm gonna have to reset. We're gonna have to reset. Okay. Cuz. No, wait, actually. No, I, I can still turn this around. Let me see here. 
Let me let me think. Yeah, I might have to reset actually. We're gonna have to reset. Because there's two problems. First of all. First of all, the only swimsuit that I have uh, is the style that the other brother, Ruka, likes. So uh, that's no good. We don't have time, uh, the chance to shop for that shit. If I go on a single date with Koichi again, it's gonna fuck up the triangle and the progress. So what I'm gonna do... I'm going to have to, uh, to load that all the way back there. Oh, what's the call? The hamster number? Oh! Well, Coyote Gundam, I'm glad you asked. That is my voice message machine. If you want to leave, uh, call the show and leave a voice message, you can do so. Uh, at that phone number. That is not a toll-free toll -free number, and if you're uh, international, I am so sorry. Um, it might, you might have to pay, uh, but, uh, you can leave a voice message, uh, call change and your base, um, at, at that number, uh, if I, I'm gonna accumulate them, and once I get enough, I'll, uh, I'll answer them on stream, uh, after, uh, towards the end of a stream. Uh, let me just go ahead and see. Yeah, so that's, uh, that's gonna be, do, 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 308. 824 That's 308 choo choo. So yeah, you can uh, you can leave a, a message at change in your base. Um, I am gonna be pre-screening those, so don't say any fucking slurs. <laughs> that is that is the bare minimum of leaving a god of a voice message. Uh, please be funny or else. Um, don't sign me up for any uh, fucking. Uh, like pyramid schemes that's uh yeah that's that's pretty much it um i'm gonna probably like that's a soft launch i'm gonna probably like release a trailer slash video explanation video later uh not now though because i'm like in the middle of a whole bunch of other shit but yeah it's cracker wrestler i don't care i'm a <laughs> how about amazon support scam numbers <laughs> no please Nani. Okay, yeah. I'm gonna have to do this all over again. Cause, uh... Cause I, uh... Cause I went too far back and I didn't... I didn't <laughs> quick save. Alright, we're gonna... We're gonna quickly just, like, speedrun this area right here. Oh shit, I just realized. Okay. This is actually. I'm gonna have to push. Uh, I'm gonna have to push the button right here, because I just realized I am at the uh, I am at the hour mark. So I am gonna have to run some. Uh... Speaking of scams, I am gonna have to run uh, ads right now. It's gonna be about a three minute break, so I do apologize. Uh, if you have an ad blocker, you're fine. Um, if not, then uh, sorry. Um, I think subscription also. Uh... You, you, you don't see the, the fucking corporate garbage. You get to see my corporate garbage instead. Um, but this is your good chance to, you know, get a drink, uh, stand up, walk around, uh, roll a joint, you know, do what you gotta do. And I'll uh, be back in three. One moment, please.
And we're back. Right on time. All right. Okay. We're gonna hit the Hail Mary save again. I'm gonna quick save and right here. Thank you. We are gonna pray that we do not get jump scared for a date. Uh, we do not want that. We wanna be able to schedule a date specifically for Koichi. Not Koichi, God damn it, Ruka. We are trying to, we're trying to perfect balance this relationship here. And uh and unfortunately Koichi is too horny, so uh so that's not going great. Oh! <laughs> Architect Hamel here, can I interest you in a pyramid? I'll get to building. <laughs> hey Odin's luck, how's it going? Alright. No jump scare. Come on, no jump scare. <gasps> this is better. This is better, actually. Yes. Never mind. I absolutely am. Thank you, Ruka. Yes, 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 yes. yes. <sighs> okay, good. Alright. I don't have to do it for instead. Thank you. Yeah. <laughs> All right, I'm saving. <laughs> I should be able to balance this out with this. Because, <laughs> uh, Zaruka is starting to veer too, too, too much into the danger zone. For uh, an explanation on that, I uh, hand it over to the bestie of the phone. He'll tell us what to do. Okay. So how this works. Um, the... F yeah, so this is how the diagram of uh, love triangles work when you're dating two people at the same time. You want to have them sort of like balanced and sort of in a tight triangle together. Um, if somebody's veering too close to the edge of the road, then uh, then then it could be it could be uh, curtains. Um, how are you, Chisaka? I'm doing pretty good. I'm doing pretty good. Well, you're watching Kiva again. Very interesting. Okay. I'm gonna actually check something real quick, cause I'm not sure. Uh holiday to say stolen our friends. Let's see here. So I'm gonna just try to see if what's because sometimes like an ending is affected by how the triangle, what type of triangle you get. So let me just go ahead and see. Um. Hmm. Hmm. Uh, if you chose the aspirations, of first you also need to uh, for all first rate universities. I think in place. Uh, okay, first ending, third ending. Going to drive the coming takes priority is hard to get. Uh, let's see here. Ending two, girl. One friend ending. Hold on, see here. Not best friend mode. Three P ending. Apparently, in three P mode, didn't trigger PVP mode. Fulfill both of the guys' perimeter requirements. Both of them are smiley or above. Three of them must be very close. Dated them at least three times. Um. Hmm. There's no CG for this ending. Two. Trigger three P mode, then PVP mode, then the other guy backs down. Ah. Dated it more than five times. It's not currently the same. It's PvP mode than PvP mode. How do I trigger PvP mode? Uh, ba 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 ba. Let's see here. Um, sorry. Let me see here. PvP mode. Must not be in PV mode. Uh, I, nope, those are. That's a. That's. It actually doesn't matter if I'm PV, follow it'll happen in. 
Um, no, these are CGs. They're CGs. What is PvP mode? Huh. Uh, let's see here. How do I trigger PvP mode, though? How do I make these bitches fight? Did this not say? This guide is not saying. Activate PV mode from oh PVP mode from June of the third year onwards. Okay. Uh, you want to act pride versus pride mode? You need to go on two P dates with one guy a lot. The other guy will continue to move away. If he reaches the right line, side, he'll get in danger condition. Then you activate it by triggering the world card event. Ah, okay, I see. Interesting. All right. So right now, right now we're actually pretty good. It's, so far, it's been the easiest series for you to watch. Ah, I see. It's pretty good. Now I need to. I need to throw together a new outfit here. A memento. Let's, uh, let's just do this. No, oh, that's still ultra-natural? Hmm. Big hmm. a different outfit. <sighs> okay. Is there anything happening at the uh, aquarium? No. Okay. What date is it anyway, actually? Okay. Didn't miss the uh, the flea market. That's good. Uh, by that, I mean, I usually have to force myself to watch up to episode 20 before you're completely invested. Ah, I see, I see. Oh, that's good. Currently at the Common Rider Watch Along, we are watching Common Rider O's, one of my favorites. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Oh hell yeah, we're watching the fucking dolphin show oh, fuck! Okay. Yeah. Sorry, we're quick loading. <laughs> fuck. Alright, that's good. That's fine. Shit. <laughs> I misclicked. Uh I will not fumble this baddie. Anti-dolphin propaganda. I absolutely hate Nago though, the guy who's Ixa in Thread. Yeah, it gets confusing. I like Ixa. Actually, I don't remember much because I was very drunk throughout most of, <laughs> most of watching uh, Kiba. I remember it made me less mad than Blade. That's not a hard order. Uh, and yet, somehow, it was the most heterosexual rider. <laughs> the spirit of, of, uh, of fucking Abe was flowing through that. 
I'm kidding, I'm kidding. Toya is also great as well. Um, it is uh, the most distracted Toshiki Inoue has ever been for a series. Uh, and it just had the misfortune to come after Deno. Mm. Okay, we're gonna go see the fucking dolphins. Blade is great. Hell yeah, fucking dolphins! <sighs> That was an awesome jump. Dolphins are adorable. I'm gonna try feeding them. So. Dolphins are fucking great. What? Oh, I don't want to get hurt. What? Maybe you're the same. Two. All right. All right. I'm gonna be there for the watch long when I fucked up my sleep schedule again. Ah, uh, yeah, don't worry about it. We'll see, we can see you again on Sunday. Hmm? Your aspiration, bro. Yume ka. Hmm. No future. Yume nante nai ne. That is a very high school answer. Zenze. Somo somo shorai ga nai kanji. Yoksa, hayaji ni suru te iwareru. Yeah. Spoiler alert, Ruka is really fucking depressed. He just sometimes will just be like, I feel like dying sometimes, haha, <laughs> and you're just like, hello. Look at this perfectly normal anime boy. You've given it depression. Oh, so cool. Yeah, a lot of the times you'll find him like climbing up on high things a lot and, uh, Koichi's, like, insistence on following him around all the time starts making a lot more sense. Oh, you got a nose belt recently. Oh, dang. Sorry. <laughs> oh my god, Rukuzi, no! Please! Far be it from me, a cartoon character on the internet, to say anything, but, uh... Please, uh, please, please, uh, reach out to, to anyone you can. It's okay to rely on people. Uh, not me, I'm not a therapist, but, you know. You know how it be, chat. Alright, let me just open up this other can of booze. He's a sad comment. What you drinking tonight? Ooh! I'm drinking some strange beast. Not sponsored. That is a ginger lemon and hibiscus spiked kombucha. It is uh, some very spicy juice. I love it. I, uh, I'm, I'm pre-gaming basically to be uh, soft enough so that I can basically be Thunder's GPS device and game FAQ manual for Lost Judgment. Okay, Chu, I shall spoil my guts to you. No! <laughs> Don't do it. <laughs> I'm an R&D, uh, I'm, I'm a communications and heuristics unit with an add-on that lets me do R&D development. That's the extent of my capabilities. <laughs> Uh, there we go. All right, save, save. Great. <clears throat> Let me think here. So it's still a hat. Is there? Just go ahead, uh, go ahead and throw together another outfit. Let's see here. That's a different outfit, baby. Completely different outfit. Oh, I did it! Wait. Somehow I did it. Ah, uh, no worries. <laughs> you are free for now. All right, that's good that you do see a therapist, though. If you need it, see so seek therapy. But shit, yes, finally! I've been trying to, like, put together, like, a girly style outfit forever. Fuck! This is, this is the style that Ruka likes the most, so. 
Cool, I'm saving that. So, alright. Yeah, this is this is the one. Jesus. Yeah. Because I knew I had accidentally made it before, but uh, I don't know. When I play this game again, um, <laughs> when, I inevitably, when I inevitably play this game again, I do want to do um, a run for the other characters that I haven't really uh, explored because like their mixed fashion styles are also so cool as well. Um, Junpei's, for example, is Little Devil, which is kind of like, it's, it's closest to like Princess Gyaru, I think. Um, or like almost like hostess wear. So it's really cute um, and slutty at the same time. And then um, I think somebody's is chic, but I'm not sure what it is. Um, so I'm interested to see what that looks like. You nothing wrong with therapy accepting. Exactly, that's right. Hell yeah. Anyway, what am I doing? That's right, I'm reading magazines. Uh, style. We are, we are styling. Got it. Nima, Kaidi. Nina. Ah, Namo Yoji in the tra. E. Nori this ne. Jaza. Dario di Moko, Ijikan. Yeah, speaking of Gadu, yeah, like uh Nina is a is a Gallo, so that's why he, he likes the uh the more Gadu uh Gadu styles. Hello, how can I help you? Uh, <laughs> Oh, you're just standing there awkwardly. Huh? Just hands him a lettuce leaf. Alright. Alright, we're gonna have to see what the haps is. Okay, alright. We're gonna have to date Koichi then. Erp. Alright, this is good, this is good. And luckily, I think there are some rest days coming up, so I can... Oh yeah, yeah, no, no, no. I could definitely juggle some shit around. We're good, we're good. <clears throat> Sir? What we're gonna do is... Pull up Sakurai Koichi. Where do you like to go? Uh, hmm. Where do you like to go? Uh, hmm. What's, what's playing at the movie theater right now, actually? Red Tracer? Cool, let's go to the fucking movies. It says Red Tracer, but I'm pretty sure it's Ridge Racer. Ridge Racer. <clears throat> Yo, Koichi. Ooh. Voicemail. You can leave voicemail, sir. Yeah, no, no, because because one of the movies is R Red Tracer, so Ridge Racer. <laughs> I'm pretty sure it's a Ridge Racer uh, reference. Okay, so we can leave a voice message for him. We are going to leave a voice message, and we're going to hang out on the 8th. 
And it's going to be at the movies. Nice! Cool! Alright. Cool, 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 cool. Alright, so this balancing game is gonna continue. I'm gonna just make sure. That no one is throwing a bomb at the moment. Good, good, good. Oh, fuck. Tamal, what the hell? You're in college. You shouldn't. I said hi to you twice. I have to go on a petty date with this dude? Alright. The only racer I know is speed. Alright, that's fine. Uh, there's a whole bunch of breaks coming up, so I can just call him and be like. Hey, yeah, it's me. Uh, we talked like twice. I will go on a pity date with you. Because <laughs> if I ignore that for too long, then he's gonna start making his feelings my problem. I'm gonna have to defuse a bomb. Okay. But for now, sleep. And now. Uh. Study. Okay. Here's here's what's going on. So now. But yeah, we're gonna schedule Tamal on the fifteenth. Or yeah, Kono. All right, let me let's see what Kono Tamal wants to go to. Come on, nerd. Where do you like to go date? Uh, amusement park. There's a seaside park. Okay. Hi, Kono. This. Ah. Fifteenth. See. Oh, planetarium. There we go. <laughs> Cool. We have defused that bomb. Excellent. Um, today is a break, so I'm gonna get a bonus on this day and then take a rest on the fifth. Because on your break days you can get a bonus for whatever um whatever activity you do. So I'll take a bonus for intelligence. There we go. And I'm actually gonna check. Mio, tell me what to do. Okay. And actually, I need to check with Karen. Karen, what the fuck does... Uh, what's his name like? Okay. Uh, he does not like sexy and he likes the older sister's look. Okay. We're just gonna do like a basic cute outfit because I don't want to raise this dude's affection to me. Alright. We do not want to get his hopes up at all, because then it's going to be a problem. Alright, cool. That is our game plan. So first... First, we are going to... Grow together... Okay, we're gonna throw together that outfit, and then... <laughs> okay. So, today is... Today's the day of rest. 
Cool. Then. Quick save. Swap over to that uh, outfit that we created previously. There we go. That's the one that Koichi likes. That should be fine. That's, uh, that is, that is who I'm going with, right? Yes, okay, cool. Alright. Going to quick save here one more time. Excellent. This is good. This is good. This is fine. This is fine. Ori. Alright. So I'm just pulling up his stats and stuff. Uh okay. あれは早歩きだ。いいから行くぞ。うん。ま。うん。こう。じゃ、行くか。ナイス。寝てたら起こせよ。シュー。内容次第だ。Hell yeah, Ridge Racer! That movie fucking ruled. Oh, what's up, that car? The car is so good in the world. Yeah, that's right. 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 Sure, I got time. Got nothing but time. Yes. Alright, let's uh eat my show. Huh? What are your hobbies, bro? Gaki no Kurukara, Orara. Yeah. Or uh vintage no shots toka, kawazan toka atsumeter. Hm. So nanja neo. Fukute no wa polishida. Yeah, that's an interesting thing about Koichi, too. Um, like, uh, if you ask him about stuff, he'll start saying things like, he'll always start with, Ruka likes this, or we like this, or we like that, and then he has to, like, be reminded to that he, like, quickly corrects himself or has to remind himself, like, uh, actually, it's me, it's this person. So, um, he, he is actually, I think, a full year older than, than Ruka, but... They both kind of consider themselves like twins, or they were raised almost like twins. So. So koda, mondai wa. Aitsu misakai naku ore no collection wo. Mitsukatara oshiro yo. Again, we love fucked up dudes with attachment issues. Bun naguru. Alright. Beans. Gonna slap a quick save on that. And now. I might as well study. Right, I have to. Let me craft a, an outfit for fuck ass to Mal. Uh, okay. Um. There. There. Hmm. Hmm. We'll go with this for now. 
I'm gonna switch to like a completely different like accessory so it's not like totally cute because we don't want his affection levels to be that high. We just we, we don't want to have that problem in our life so uh no. we, we, we don't want to give off the wrong signals but uh, in the meantime I'm gonna study. Yeah, you don't want to slay too hard. Exactly! Mm. <gasps> oh, this is one of my favorite events! So, this is the, the, the principal. Um, in the first game, you could date your high school principal. Um, he, <laughs> he, he, he does not end up with the main character of that game. Um, canonically, uh, he gets together with the, um, the fashion guru of the first game. Uh, Goro Hanatsubaki um, and they're like in a long distance relationship uh, and so yeah this is uh, Karen Hanatsubaki who's like the, your fashion bestie in this game uh, is basically uh, helping her uncle long distance terrorize his uh, boyfriend <laughs> you're just like huh? oh yeah in the first game you could date the high school principal and the high school teacher the teacher who was voiced who was voiced by um fucking uh Dio from JoJo's Bizarre Adventure. <laughs> and he's in this game too. Unfortunately you can't date him uh in that one. But Him Himuro is is there. Himuro is actually like in all of the girls' side games. Um yep. Hello. That's why you should get together with the police officer. <laughs> but yeah, no, no, no. In 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 like the uh, the the principal is with uh, Goro Hanatsubaki at this point. Yeah, like canonically. Oh, yats to a nan to yuka. Gakusei jidai kara no kusare en de ne. Fucking. そんなこと言うりさ。今から <laughs> No, they're great, dude. Slay. Karen, so no music. Don't worry, be who you are. I need a game with voice acting. I'm part of the Beyond Neko Sugar Girls. Omega Leonardus, if if you remember, like, <laughs> Chad, if you remember my old uh, mic, which is also my webcam, I can deliver that quality. <laughs> Uh, I need some- yeah, you're, you're right though, I need that. Some new grounds ass, blown out ass, like, mic <laughs> and MS Paint. The, the real gag, the real gag.com though, would be if you have all of that, like, you know, fucking... That, that fucking gimmick with, like, the, the, the Nyan Neko Sugars, like, <laughs> MS Paint animated, micro- like, just extremely, like, blown out, fuzzed out. Like, like, fan in microphone nonsense, fuzz, buzz, and then you have like a a almost like clinically like surgically precise like intense under the hood game mechanics, like an actual dating sim. I'm not saying something like fucking Doki Doki Literature Club. That game can go to hell. It's fine if you like it. Uh, I I have the developer blocked on every single platform. He is he is he is terrible. He is not actually. He's not a terrible person. I just think he's he's fucking full of himself. Uh, <laughs> don't don't say deconstructing. You say deconstructing, you're gonna you're going into the lake. Um. But like actual dating sims did with you before, <laughs> ya bum. But yeah, like like do have that sort of like like sort of gimmick, and then have like an actual dating sim mechanic, real ass dating sim mechanics under the hood. 
Guarantee that would be a classic. <laughs> just mic peeking every time. Just like fucking like no limiters. The gate is off. All of the all of the chakras are open. It is just raw dogging out there. And oh my god, who was raiding? Strubly! Yo! Yo, Strub! Hey! What's going on, Scrimblo? Yo, thank you so much uh, for raiding and bringing your folks over here. What were y'all doing? Hi, Spec Hamster Choo Choo. I'm Hi, Spec Hamster Choo Choo, your helpful support bot from Team Gata Universe. Uh, I'm over here at Chain Gender Base. Uh, again, a one bot R&D unit. I uh, provide uh, funny little toyetic singing devices that can blow shit up for uh, a bunch of yahoos and color-coded spandex. When I'm not doing that, I'm just passing the time here, playing some video, usually in your horror games, or creating unhinged PowerPoint presentations on the Tokusatsu to BL pipeline. How you doing? We're playing Toki Miki Memorial, Girl's Side, third story for the 3DS. And, uh, yeah. <laughs> yeah! Thank you! Just wanna, yeah, so, so, so thanks everyone for sticking around. Toki Miki Memorial, if you're not familiar, is the dating game series. Not the first, of course, that would be probably, don't you say, Bang in Summer. Uh, but this is the most well known. And it's an actual dating sim dating sim. It's not like, you know, no, 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 no fucking, no fucking, uh, shade on visual novels or sound visual novels. They have their place in this world. But an actual ass dating sim created many of the mechanics that, uh, RPGs and action RPG fans know and love today. And that is a fact. Left a message on the Choo Choo database. Nice automated number. Oh, thank you so much. Yeah, thank you, Stroom. And if you're wondering, what do you mean, what phone? Well, that's right, chat. You can uh, call into the show and leave a message for us here on the voice message machine. I say us, it's just me here. Uh, you can leave a message on the voice machine at Change Edger Base. Uh, it is here. Uh, let me just go ahead and, and, and pull up that. Uh, Thing again, yeah. So that is uh, three zero eight eight choo choo. Again, that is three zero eight eight choo choo, aka three zero eight eight two four eight two four eight. Uh, you can leave a voice message. Once I get enough, I'll uh, I'll uh, you know play them at the end of a stream. Uh, not today, of course. You know I gotta I gotta let them percolate for a bit. But once I get a, a good amount, I'll. Uh, Play them on stream and uh, talk back to you, talk to the people. Uh, yeah, if you're calling internationally, I apologize in advance. Uh, that is not a toll-free number. I'm so sorry. Um, you know, if it's, it's real simple. Dial, listen, leave a voice message. Uh, just be cool. I do screen all of them, so don't don't be a fucking dumbass. Don't don't do it. Cause, cause I'm, I'm just, it's gonna go straight in the trash. And, uh, and my, and my, uh, my phone, the, the, the dude who helped, uh, hook up the, uh, the voice message machine. Um, shoutouts to the music research facility on the moon from shitty mashups. Uh, he has a gun pointed to the voice message machine at all times. So if you don't want to get shot over the internet, <laughs> just be cool. I said, have fun, asshole, and have a great stream. Oh, nice, fucking fantastic. Yeah, 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 thank you so much. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No worries, no worries. Yeah, you can say as many fuck words as you want. Just don't say slurs. That is, that is it. Like, bare minimum. Like, my TOS. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Anyway, uh, what were we doing again? That's right. We were convincing uh, the principal to put on the uh, the hot pants and and uh, halter top that his boyfriend sent him. Mm. <laughs> but yes, Toki Miki Memorial Girls Side is the quotation marks girls version of the game for girls. Even though I am not a girl and I'm playing this game. <laughs> That's uh, the original Tokimeki Memorial. You're a, a dude in high school, romance in ladies, and in girl side, it is the opposite. You are allegedly playing a lady romancing the dudes. Goal is to get with one of them at the end of three years, 
and uh, have a happy ending while fulfilling the um, being able to fulfill the uh, the local urban legend. In the original Tokimeki Memorial, it was uh, getting a girl to confess to you under the tree of eternal, eternity, eternalness, um, something like that. At the end of three years, and in this one, uh, there's uh, well, there's multiple things. There's like the first one, there's like a church involved. Second one, there's like something related to like a lighthouse and a little mermaid, and in this one, it's the church again, but it's a different thing, and it has like a sort of fairy tale vibe. What if I say cheeseburger more for... Yeah, that's fine. <laughs> that's fine. Yeah. The the actual mechanics of Tokimeki Memorial are incredible. Um, real, real ass dating sims are stat raising games. So basically, uh, how it works is that every week you plan out... Um, here's the calendar. So this is the main... Uh, this is what the game looks like. This is the main sort of screen of the game. It looks like a K-Typhoon in the two, uh, 2010s uh, because this game is set and was released in uh, around the 2010s era. Um, so a lot of the fashion and style and stuff is indicative of that era. So that's pretty good. So this is the real Y2K shit uh, if, you, if you want to know. Mm -hmm. So for each week, uh, it's... it's Kind of set up like basically you pick an activity um each activity will raise your stats so sleeping studying uh studying art doing physical activity like running um looking studying fashion magazines dolling yourself up in the, the uh like dolling yourself up and and trying on different makeups and such um excuse me doing a club activity or hanging out with your friends or you can uh Go out on dates with dudes. Um, the date takes, uh, you can only date on the weekends. Uh, on the weekdays, if you pick an activity, it takes the whole week. Um, it'll raise stats or it'll lower stats depending on your luck for the week if you follow uh, the horoscope. So, for example, this is the week of 515. Um, and your basically your dice roll for if you pick the study activity is will go very well. If you try to pick, um, say, leisure like staying at home, sleeping, or um, studying uh, fashion, it's you're gonna have less stat gain and more like fails. So it's it, in order to compare it to something, it's because again, it's how do I say this? This is like dating sims. Like, Tokimeki Memorial in general, like, really inspired a lot of the mechanics of RPGs in general. Um, <clears throat> but in order to, you know, make sense for somebody who's not familiar with that, uh, you're basically, like, playing a single-player, like, TTRPG. And I haven't even gotten into, like, the fashion mechanic in this game. Um... <laughs> But I'm going to anyway. So similarly to how in RPGs you equip armor and uh, weapons and such like that, so you have the uh, fashion outfit mechanic here in Girl's Side. Each piece of an outfit has um, a certain stat in a particular fashion. Uh, the dudes have different fashions that they like. You can mix and match uh, outfits in order to get like specific styles. Um, we just want a regular sort of outfit that's like kind of chill so we don't want to we don't want to you know give this guy too much hope that i'm going on a pity date with essentially uh but if you mix and match like different outfits so let me just go for examples for example this one no it's not it if for example yeah, so this one has is a mixture of like the natural and cute stats and the highest, uh, yeah, possible, like quantity possible, which means that it's a completely different like style and it's like the best kind of fashion that one particular dude would like. Um, one of the dude, the dude that we're going for likes this particular kind of fashion. I am not gonna wear this though on this date because I'm, it's it's another dude. But. Also, um, another cool thing is that all of these different kinds of fashions are related to uh, different fashion subcultures, for the most part, that uh, people uh, would wear at the time. So there's one, there's there's uh, like outfits you can put together that are like Gaudu style, 
Um, they call them like little devil or something like that in this game though. There's like outfits that are more kind of like Mori, which is like natural, um, so on and so forth. So if you're into like um, street fashion or anything like that, especially from this era, if you play Girls Side 1, 2, and 3, um, it's a really unique look into what was popular at the time uh, among um, girls and young women. Um, okay, I'm gonna... Hold on a second, let me just go ahead and see. So I don't fuck myself over too much, because again, this is a pity date I'm going on this <laughs> on this guy. Sun visor. Okay, cool. Um... <sighs> All right, that's that's the lowest stats we can deal with. Let me just go ahead and actually check and see how everybody's feeling about me as uh, because in this game too, um, not only like aside from like you know the goal being to get with one dude or two dudes at the same time because you can date two people at the same time, um, you also want to remain on good terms with everyone since this character is kind of fucking upset that we ignored him for some reason. What the fuck? Um, he a lot of the characters in these games make uh their feelings our problem, much like real life. So that's uh that's the case there. But let me just see. I have to. I'm gonna have to. Yeah, again, I guess. Maybe. Okay. All right. Well, I can't oh, think about you. that now. Sure. All right. All right. I'm going to safety save. I'm gonna pull up this other dude now. I don't even remember where I asked him to. Oh, the I remember now. Never mind. All right, chat. Let's hope for a uh, a cordial, firm handshake of a date. A uh, a platonic. Well, that was nice. I will never see you again. This should be fine. So that I. We're not aiming for this dude. ちょうどいい時間に着くのって結構難しいよな。うん。それいいな。うん。それそれぞれ個性が強いのにうまく組み合わせるもんだな。君のセンスにはいつも感心させられるよ。Oh yeah, also this game is entirely voiced. All of the dudes are voiced by the popular Seiyu at the time. So it's really interesting to like, when you play those games, if you're a Seiyu nerd, like I am. Like in the first game, you had guys like Ishida Akira, um, or as like, at voice, like one of the dudes you could date, you know, like, and or Hikaru Midorikawa. And in this game, um, you have people like Tomokazu Sugita or um, Junichi Suwabe. So like, and then the, the game before that, yeah. So like, it's, it's, it's like a really neat look into um, sort of like Otome, like Yume and Fujoshi fandom at that particular time in that particular era. And that's why, even though, like, this is considered, like, oh, it's just a dating game for girls. Derogatory. Like, no, it's it's really good. It's really deeply layered. And I'll never stop talking about it. I'll never stop playing this game. I am the only person on Twitch.tv streaming this fucking game. Probably on YouTube, too. Uh, although I'm not simul-streaming it on YouTube. Um, I would say, hey, Konami, release an official English release for this. On a system that's not just a Switch. But uh, I don't want to monkey paw myself with uh, Konami, so I'm not gonna wish that into the world. Am I playing this legally? Well, this is the English patch. This game was never released officially in English. There's your answer. I own these uh, games like officially though. Like physically, I have Girls Side 1, 2, and 3. I paid way too much for them. They are sitting right now propping up my webcam. <laughs> Alright, thanks, bro.
Damn, those shimmer stars. Okay, was beautiful. Sorry, I fell asleep. They used such cutting edge equipment. Huh. Cool, cool. Nice and lukewarm. Cool, that is all I wanted. We did it, chat. We did it, Reddit. Oh my god. Success. Alright. Where... Hello! Where was... Where was that outfit that I had thrown together? Was it... Was it... There we go. A. I may have purchased something amazing. Oh shit, what'd you get, dude? We are getting close to 6 p.m., although I want to make sure because what's going on, what's going to happen, chat, is that uh, there is on the docket today uh, double streams. Um, and if you didn't see what that was on Twitter, you, I'll explain it to you right now. Uh, so immediately at 6 p.m. Pacific Standard Time, which is going to be in like a couple of minutes or so, once Thunderbird goes live, I'm raiding into him, and then I'm going to hop into his stream, because uh, he's doing Lost Judgment. Box DX Kiva Belt. Oh shit, dude. Hell yeah. I hope that arrives quickly. Okay, so let me see here. He's not live yet. He is live. Okay. He is, he is, okay. All right. I'm gonna wait. I'm gonna wait this out. I'm gonna do, I'm gonna save one more time. Cool. Let me save. Here's, here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna do this right. All right. All right. All right. We're gonna do one more week. We're gonna set up a, a date for the fifth or the twelfth, and then and then let me see here. Actually, I'm gonna raid in once he gets off his uh, his BRB. So, so we'll see how that goes. It's like poetry; it rhymes. Okay. Okay, all right, don't worry. We're gonna do one more. We're gonna do one more. <clears throat> all right, so. We're gonna study. Yeah? <laughs> Oh. oh my god. Oh. <sighs> oh my god. He, he just suddenly fucking cuttied in. That's interesting. Oh, hello. Yes, actually. This actually works so great. This actually works out very great. This works out better than expected. Incredible. Interesting. Wonderful. It is Koichi-kun's birthday. Yes, we are going to get him a gift. What does Koichi like? Koichi... Koichi... Sakurai... Okay. Koichi Sakurai for the third year birthday. What do we get for him? What the fuck? Uh... Okay. Let's see here. I am going through the game FAQs. Uh, uh, okay. This one. Happy Basa Day. Mm. Cool. He digs it. Alright, safe. We did it. We did it. 
gonna hit save right now. And that is perfect timing. Excellent. Right on the dot. A good two hour stream. So I'm gonna go ahead and start raiding into Thunderbird Prime um, for the second half of streams. That's gonna be going on. Uh, I'm going to be hopping into the Lost Judgment stream on Thunderbird Prime's channel, or Thunderbird VT's channel, in just a sec. Uh, but I'm going to go ahead and start the raid. Thank you, everybody, um, who uh, came along, by the way. Thank you so, so, so much uh, for the raid, Strubly, uh, and the follows. Um, also, Omega Leonidas and Jason Dieth and the Rye, thank you so much for the subs with Prime. Uh, gosh. Um... Like now, in a few minutes, I'm going over to uh, Thunderbird Prime's channel uh, to basically be his GPS device um, for uh, the other school uh, game about high school love. It's <laughs> it's Lost Judgment. Um, spoiler warnings are in effect. Um, this is the first time he's going to be playing the game. If you know what happens, shut the fuck up. I have played the game multiple times. Um... So, I know what's going on. Uh, he don't, though. So, don't say nothing in chat. Um, if you want to play the game yourself and you do not want to be spoiled, maybe that's a stream that you don't want to dip in on. Um, there is also uh, other warnings as well. That game is rated M and earns every single bit of its M rating. Uh, there is a rotting corpse in the first fucking ten minutes of this game. And uh, references to... Uh, bullying, uh, um, sexual assaults, anything under the sun, murder, it's in this game. It handles it very well, but it is in this game. So there's your warnings. Um, but I'm going to go ahead and start that raid right now. Um, and I will see you guys very soon. So let me just go ahead and start that raid right now. Uh, okay. All right, let's see here. So we'll go for ham incoming as the chat. Uh, and then I also have a Kaito ham emoji. So if you have a uh, fucking, if you have a subscription, you can, here's your other raid message, the ham think with uh, Kaito ham. And uh, I will see you guys in about uh, 10 or so minutes. Uh, so, memento. See ya.